delicioso. ¿Sí le gustó? Demasiado. Comí todo, ¿no? Sí, sí. Solo sí. Que hay que darle con la lengua. <risa> Sí, Listo, hay frío y todo. Qué rico. What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's. Been here. I just arrived in Mexico City, the largest city in North America. Over 21 million people live here. I'm gonna be here for the next four days. We're gonna be making street food videos. I'm super excited. I'm super hungry. It's nine in the morning. I got about an hour drive. There's a lot of traffic here. This is this city is famous for its traffic. It's like never ending. You can imagine with so many people. Yeah, right now I'm going to my Airbnb. It's about an hour drive. Let's see how much traffic we get. Para desayunar qué hay por ahí en Condesa? Comida en la calle. Unos tamales o algo. So the one thing I love about Uber is that the drivers like they'll wait for me. He pulled up here to a little spot right here in the street and there they have tamales. So we're gonna have tamales for breakfast. Hay uno picante o? Al picante, si le gusta picante, el de morita con puerco. Van a comer aquí para llevar. So we're just gonna post up right here. I said me. Okay, so basically, tamale is like uh, a dough. They mix it with different things. Like I got like a spicy one with some pork, and then they wrap it in a leaf. This leaf. ¿Qué tipo de hoja es esta? Es hoja de maíz. De maíz, so corn leaf, and they steam it. This is very typical for breakfast. Wow, that looks spicy. Look at that. Oh, it looks incredible. So got like an artisan drink, like cacao drink but it's like it feels like there's some coffee in here mm, spicy tamal this is what they love to eat for breakfast mm. oh my god As you can see there's a big piece of pork right here that's the pork oh it's amazing mm. the pork with the spicy sauce it's almost like a sriracha oh my god this is delicious. Mm. The total is 37 pesos. Riquísimo. Lo comí volando porque tengo mi Uber esperando ahí. Gracias, muy amable. This drink. Antillano. Antillano. Necesitan algo? Hey, muy amable. <laughs> that was so good. Tamale with spicy sauce, with pork, and this drink. I really don't know what's in it, but it's so delicious. And that is what Mexico City is all about. They have street food everywhere. As you can see right here, they have tortas, sandwiches, hot dogs. They have enchiladas, eh, chilaquiles. There's so many delicious things to eat here. That's what we're gonna do today. So, I mean, this is just like, the beginning of the journey with the food. Oh man. Where I'm staying here in Mexico City is in the center. It's called La Condesa. This is like a very European style neighborhood. It's very chic. It's uh it's basically like a you know the tree the tree-lined avenues, it's stately art nouveau mansions and well-maintained art deco buildings are there. Uh, it's, I was told it's one of the best places to stay and also it's in the center so from there I can go north, south, east or west very easily. Thing is that here, you know, there's a lot of traffic so you really don't need to be central. If not, things take forever. In case any of you are wondering why I'm fluent in Spanish, my parents were actually born in Venezuela. That's my first language. Uh, my parents were born there but my father's Hungarian and my mom's Italian and then my wife is half Cuban and you know everybody I grew up with in Miami is either Cuban, Argentinian and Central American, Latin American. I mean we're basically Miami is the capital of Latin America so I basically grew up with Spanish and it definitely makes everything a lot easier in terms of just getting around and people just opening up to you you know. Language is a gateway to the world. Ugh. Hey, muchas gracias. No, de qué? No sé dónde Londres 212 Apartments. Let's see how it says. I got this on Airbnb. Let's see. Hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Yeah. Wow. 
son esos? Quesadillas. Quesadillas. Pampazos. Oh my God, todo eso es increíble. Sí. ¿Qué me recomiendas para desayunar? Lo que guste, todo está bien rico. Todo está muy rico. Sí. ¿Y esto es una pimienta? Taco, este, taco de chile. ¿Muy caliente este? Sí. Sí, muy caliente. No, no mucho. No, no, no mucho, mucho, pero. Ok, no sé, hongos. Hongos, hongos. ¿Qué canal vamos a salir? No. Es muy rico. Okay, so my Airbnb wasn't ready, so I came out to the street, and literally right across the street is a little place here, and they have some sopes, they have some uh, chorizo, no? Chorizo. chorizo, they have like the spicy peppers, they have quesadillas, so I'm getting quesadilla of cheese and mushrooms, and I'm also getting one of these spicy peppers, I want to try it. I mean, this is a breakfast food tour, so let's do this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hot. No tan picante. No? No. Mmm. I make the taco out of a nice like black dough. Then they put this cheese pepper, they like string beans. It's not too spicy. <laughs> Actually, I think it was the, the peppers out there. Mmm. Now I'll try this one. Mmm. The mushrooms here are so fresh. They don't really have a table, so I just like post it up here on the table with all the condiments. All oh, this pepper, delicious stuff. Mmm, too good. Muy, muy rico. Oh, and the white cheese. ¿Qué tipo de champiñones son estos? Champiñones así se llaman. Son locales. Ajá. Yeah, so these are local mushrooms. Oh my god. Another thing Mexico is famous for is obviously their juices. This is a jugo de guayaba, so guayaba juice. Wow, really refreshing. Riquísimo. Gracias. Both of those together was 17, 20, and 17. So you're looking at whatever that is, that's 54, I think. Yeah. All right. Amazing. That mushroom quesadilla was delicious, and that pepper taco, oh, so good. This breakfast food tour is turning out to be amazing. I'm still looking for some enchiladas and some chilaquiles. And one thing I want to mention is that I'm staying in a very safe neighborhood. And I chose this neighborhood because of its safety, because Mexico City is not the safest place in the world. I mean, walking around alone with this camera, it's not, it's not a smart idea. Well, the great thing is I'm going to be collaborating with a lot of people, so I'm always going to be with somebody. And uh, as you can see, this neighborhood looks like very European, lots of trees, older buildings, very nice. But let's see if we see any more street food vendors. It's a little hard here just because this neighborhood is more restaurant oriented, but there's still some stalls around here. And what I'm looking for now is some enchiladas and some chilaquiles. Let's see if we find some, let's go. So I've been asking everybody, where's the best chilaquiles in the area? And they told me to come over here to this hole in the wall the place is very small, but they say they have the best chilaquiles in the entire area. Let's go eat chilaquiles. Qué rico. Picante. Sí, uno pica y el otro no pica. El otro no pica. Verde pica. Verde pica. Yo quiero lo que pica. ¿Usted quiere el que pique? Sí, sí. ¿Para comer aquí? Sí, lo voy a comer aquí. Te voy a comer. Te preparo una salsa, la salsa va preparada. Los chilaquiles van acompañados con queso, crema, pollo, cebolla. Pero se puede acompañar con carne, con carne enchilada, con huevo, con longaniza, con todo. Sí, es eh, la salsa verde pica. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Este es desayuno número 3 para mí. Sí. Claro. <risa> Buenísimo, gracias. Muy vale. Ok, so here we have it. Chilaquiles. This is like... It's, it's basically like um, chips with cheese, onions, sour cream, there's chicken, there's some bean mash. Oh, it's my favorite thing for breakfast, and I got the green version, which is the spicy version. Let's see how good this is. Está explicando todo en inglés. Si, soy americano. Bueno, no soy gringo. Soy venezolano, pero nací en Estados Unidos. Ah, okay. I speak English. You speak English? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. 
Thanks, bro. You enjoy the breakfast, man? Yeah, man. No, this is the best thing ever. Thanks, I love sir, this. Man. I'm happy you like the Mexican food. Mm. <laughs> Yo tengo un canal en YouTube, so hago videos. Estoy aquí cinco días haciendo videos. Llegué hace como tres horas y ya estoy acabando con toda la comida. No, me falta demasiado. No tan picante, ¿no? No pica mucho. No pica mucho. ¿Tienes algo para meterle más? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not so spicy, but it's pretty delicious. Imagine putting like chips uh, and then putting like cheese on top, chicken, onions and just like making a nice sauce. I mean, the, the key is the sauce they make. It's also delicious. Mm. And you get these pieces of chicken and change the whole flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a must for breakfast in Mexico. I haven't even mixed the bean mash yet. Hold on, let me, let me try that. Mm. You gotta mix this thing. That's one thing you gotta know about coming to Mexico is you're gonna gain weight. Because the food is so good and there's so many things to try. Just right now I tried five different things, the four different things. Mm. I gotta pace myself. I have lunch in a few hours. <laughs> it's almost like a nice soup mixed with things. Mm. Oh, done. Delicioso. Si le gusta? Demasiado. Oh. Come todo, no? Sí, sí. Solo lo que hay que darle con la lengua. <laughs> ¿Me dijiste cuánto era? 50? No. 35. Uh. Ahora le pica. Ah, hoy. Now it's like now up on me. <laughs> Gracias, muy amable. Oh, okay. All right, let's go see our Airbnb. Listo, amigo. Si es, vamos adelante. Wow, look at this. This is my kitchen. Here we go. This is my Airbnb in Condesa. These are service apartments here at Londres 212. That is the building. Beautiful, I mean, this is all I need. I'm here for three days, I'm barely gonna be here. Very nice. Look that. Bathroom is very nice. What do we got? Ah, loving the shower. Everything's perfect, very clean. Small kitchen. Lots of closet space. Lots of closet space. I love it. So I hope you guys love this video. It was an incredible breakfast mini street food tour. I had to do it. Just got here, I'm alone. I gotta eat, love it. The food here is incredible. My favorite thing was probably the first thing, the tamales, the hot tamales with pork. Ooh, that was incredible and that was on the road just coming out of the airport. So I hope you guys love this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next adventure in Mexico City.